Good afternoon. This is old Doc Holland, and I just wanted to show you some eating utensils. They're uh, from different periods, and I'm going to start with the left, and I'm going to go over to the right, and you're going to see my big old hand stick into the picture every now and then. The first one on the left is a reproduction mess kit, uh, grub kit, whatever you want to call it. And it is, as I understand it, something that they would have used as far back as the 1700s. I'm going to talk about that. Then in the middle is a Boy Scouts of America grub kit from 1942. Now, the mess kit is the part that you cook with and you eat out of. And then over on the right side is a spork. And that's all I can say about it for now. We'll get to the spork. First thing I want to show you is the one over on the left. And here's the carrying case for it. And it's made out of leather. As I said, this one is a reproduction. But it's kind of neat. And the neat thing about it, it's a, it's a fork. And this is the style fork that they would have used back as, as early as the 1700s. So somebody that would be in the army or um, traveling might have something like this. This folds up, and when it folds up, it fits very neatly right into here. And then a, a pretty nice knife. It has goes all the way through the tang does, but it's a folder, and it is sharp. I can cut meat with that. I wouldn't want to use it for anything else just because it's not that great a knife, but it's a nice knife. It has a little round point on the handle, and I don't love that because my... my uh, fingers don't know what to do there. I, I kind of, my hands aren't that big, but it's just a little bit in the way. But that's a nice knife for cutting meat or cutting meat off a bone or cutting whatever when you're going to eat. And that also goes into there. So somebody that would be traveling would have this and they have it and can put it in with their mess kit and can have utensils to eat with. Now, I visited with a friend of mine, a storyteller friend of mine, who's a retired storyteller yesterday over close to Clark Range, Tennessee. And there was a gentleman on the outside of this swap meet, and he had several of these uh, little kits made by the Boy Scouts of America. And you can see here the logo is there, Boy Scouts of America is there. And then it has places for all three of your eating utensils. Now, the knife is what they call a wire knife. It's George Schrade is who made it, and it's a wire skeleton knife or a wire knife. It's got a bottle opener right there, and the blade is sharp, and um, it too is a folder. You can use it to cut meat, um, and it is sharp. I, I don't know that I could shave with it, but it is sharp. It, it's a folder, and when you fold it up, it folds just like that. You don't have to worry about cleaning it because you can literally, there's it's all metal, a little bit of enamel paint in there, but you can put that into boiling water and, and wash it and clean it. It goes right in there. Now, the spoon wasn't made by George Schrade, I understand. It's just a little shorty spoon, but it's enough to eat with, and it goes into the middle there. And then this is what's kind of neat, the fork. It's a wire fork, just like just like that. But the neat thing is, and I don't know that I can get it close enough to show you, but when I picked this one out, the old man that I bought it from says, oh, that's a good and that's a good one. And I said, well, I appreciate that, but I just got it to use. And he said, there's a misprint on it. And I said, there is. And I'm going to pull it out of you for just a minute because the date on it is the misprint and the date, instead of 127.42, is 172.42. So this is made, you know, during the war years. But I kind of chuckled. He said, that's rare, that's unusual, and it's worth a little bit more. He didn't charge me anymore, but I thought that was neat. And it too folds up, and then it goes in here. Now, I'm going to use this, and this buckles up, and on the back, there's a place that you can actually put it on your, put it on your belt. Pretty neat, huh? And then, so this is the 1700s, and this is 1942. You know, this is just when America was getting into the war, and the war was going hot and heavy over in Europe and, and um, in the Pacific and everywhere, Japan and, and Germany, and their, uh, the folks on their side against the Allies. And uh, that's a pretty neat kit. 
This one is nice, and I have used this one when I've been out and about, and it's it's nice. I've used it at festivals more than once. It's fine. It cuts really good. It actually cuts better than the little knife in here. However, I don't worry too much about that because unless I have a knife that's on my belt, I also carry this knife, and this knife is uh, my knife that I carry all the time. And it has just a fine blade, and I'm not worried about not being able to cut anything. Then last but not least, a Wally World Special, Walmart. And I don't think it's more than a dollar or two, maybe two something, I don't know. I've had it for a while. Have it in the man cave. Uh, here I've had it in here, had one hiding, and I... I was working in the man cave today, and I found one, but this one uh, goes in a pack that I keep in my truck for emergencies. It's called a spork because it's a spoon and a fork, and that's all there is to it. It has two holes, and I don't know why. I guess you could tie it onto stuff, but that's what it is, and that's where we've come from. So the 1700s, the 1940s, and 2022. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'd much rather use this or even this than use a spork. Um, can't cut with it. You have to carry something to cut with. And uh, it just is what it is. But it's kind of neat. It just kind of shows you the evolution of eating utensils that we've used along the way as we journey through the mountains and through the world. And with that, I'm going to pause. This is old Doc Holland just reminding you the mountains are calling. Get your stuff together and come go with me.